Hey everybody, James here, Jimmy Screens, Mr. Chiller. I'm going to show you all how to do this Hannah checker for phosphate. Alright? It's definitely interesting. Uh, what I found out about using these two vials is the fact that you can use one to zero the unit and one to actually do the region itself. Alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the region to one vial. The main thing about these vials is you have to make sure they're extremely clean. No fingerprints, no lint, nothing on them. So I'm going to use my t-shirt to make sure I don't put no fingerprints on this thing here. Alright, first thing you want to do is cut this guy open. And you need to dissolve the whole thing. All right. Of course, it wants to be a pain in the butt to open it between the seam here. Suck in here. Get this thing apart. And one thing about this stuff is. Be very careful with it. Don't breathe the dust in because it is pretty much like an acid. All right, so just be very careful with this kind of stuff. All right, it's just a tiny, tiny amount of region. Let me see if I can just show you real quick. I don't know if you can look in there. See that little, that white in there? That's all the region that there is. So what we're going to do here first off is just pour the region into the actual little vial. Just be very careful and get it in there. Alright, make sure it's all out. Next thing, I'm going to end up touching it anyways. Um, go ahead and cap it. And what you need to do is shake this for two minutes. So let's go ahead and just hold it and shake it for two minutes. I'll watch the clock. You want to shake it until it dissolves the actual region totally. You don't want to shake it too hard because you don't want to get bubbles in it. You just want to shake it enough to actually mix the region to where it dissolves it. And there's absolutely no powder left over. Alright, we're at 25 seconds. We still have a little bit to go here. Like right now I'm shaking it fairly hard, but I'm still not creating any bubbles in it. Alright. So you do this for two minutes. I've only gone 45 seconds. And what this actually is going to do, it's going to read the FOSS fate. And I'm doing it on my frag tank, which I have no idea. But according to this already, I've got a 0 0.29 phosphate in the 75-gallon main tank so curious to see how the frag tank is doing because that water did actually come mostly out of the 75 gallon I would say a good 15 gallons of it anyways I did do a water change on it earlier today so we'll just see got 30 more seconds to go You can see it's very clear, so this is probably going to be a very low FOSS reading. I'm expecting to see FOSS. I'm definitely expecting to see FOSS, with no doubt. But, you know, at least I'm going to know exactly where I'm at. Alright, three, two, one, done. Okay. Now, what you want to do 
is you want to start this thing up first off. Let's see if you can see the meter. You let it go. After you press the button, you just let it go. Now it says C.1 add press. So now what you do is open it up. Take the vial that is just regular salt water from the tank with no reagent. Make sure it's extremely clean. Put it inside the tube like so. Close it. Let me just make sure you guys are still on camera. Right. Close it and then you press the button. And now it's going to go until it reads it showing zero. See what it now it says? Add press C.2. So now you take it out. And this is where you would normally add the regent to the vial. But we've already done that. So now we're just going to put it straight in. Close it. Press the button. Now it's going to read it for us. There we go. 0 0.08 phosphate for the frag tank. All right. Let me just show you. What we're looking at, see there, 0 0.8. That's the FOSS reading for the actual frag tank. All right, so that takes care of that. Give me one second, I'm gonna go rinse these two out, and then I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. So give me one second. So we know there is phosphate in the actual frag tank. Not a drastic amount, I'm sure. I mean, that's pretty low, but still, it's something to stay up with, you know, as far as water testing and what have you. All right, this thing, to shut it off, put it back inside of its case. Keep your instructions with everything. Got your regents that came with it. I like I said, you guys already know, but I already bought regents as well. Close it up nice, slip it back in this thing. All right, now like I said, I have an unboxing. I went ahead and got the lenses for the LED system over the actual frag tank. They were 12 cents each, so I figured why not. I'm going to go ahead and buy them. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to use them, but I bought them anyways. I called the company and asked them about it, and then they said they could do them separate. So I was like, all right, fine, I'm going to do it. All right, these came out of Hong Kong, of course. And this is actually from the manufacturer of the LED lighting system that I had gotten a little while ago for 158 off of eBay. All right, let me just show you what this thing looks like. These are the actual lenses. And all they do is they snap right into place. See there? And that's all you do is you just click it straight in on the fixture itself. I think it's just a push up and turn it or it's just a click on. Whatever the case may be, it does come with the instructions, I believe. Let me just see if I can get in there. And see if there's anything in there. There may be, there may not. Yeah, I don't know. No, it doesn't look like the instructions. But anyways, this is the actual lenses. I just figured I'd show you guys real quick how these things look. All right. So that's that. That's a total of um, 
50 LEDs, I believe it was. Yeah, I think it's 50, 50 or 55 LEDs. So anyways, that's what that is. Um, all right, guys, so that's it. We'll see whether or not I'm going to actually use these or not. I figured, you know, what the heck. For 12 cents a piece, if I decide I don't want to use them, I mean, I can always put them back on eBay. Or maybe I'll end up selling them to somebody else. You know, whatever the case may be. All right, guys, with that, hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the Hannah test as far as actually seeing the hands-on test. All right, and again, that test was for the 29-gallon frag tank. And with that, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.